Hello everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I was looking in my old, like I have this shoe box tucked way back in my closet and just looking into old things that I have on there, I ended up discovering that I kept one of my old chain, a necklace chain. So I put it on and I loved it. I remember the feeling when I put that on back in the 1990s. I can't believe I kept this thing, you know. So anyway, it's gotten tarnished. It's been in the box forever. And uh, I decided to clean it. But I didn't want to go too abrasive and use a cleaner to clean the chain. I believe this one is uh, something that I bought overseas, like when I was in Italy somewhere. So it is a, a, a good silver uh, and silver do tarnish. So I went online and researched, you know, just home remedies on how to, um, how to clean and make something like this shiny again. And it recommended for me to use three things. White vinegar, baking soda, and warm water, and soak it for about two and a half hours. Okay, so check this out, right? The bubbles are almost gone about two and a half hours later and it looks shiny from this angle. So I'm gonna take it out and see if whatever we did work. And of course you've seen the before um, video and photo of this chain it was really tarnished and by the looks of it most of the tarnish part actually all of it probably without even touching it and using any type of material to clean it had dissolved with the vinegar baking soda and warm water there it is so put that aside for now so we don't spill it. Microfiber, if you're wondering what this is, just to dry it. And so you know already that baking soda and vinegar have a lot of uses at home. And of course, this is one of them. I may still need to really polish it because, you know, it's been in the box for approximately, I don't know, I would say 10, 11, even 12 years. And it really gained some corrosion, I wouldn't say even corrosion, just tarnished. But by soaking it in vinegar, baking soda, um, the little crevices are clean. So that's not bad at all. It looks shiny already from here. And I'm not sure if I should mess with it. What I'll do is I will test it in a small corner, use uh, some kind of a 
um, chemical or you know one of my polishing agent to see if we can even get it more shiny than this okay I'm just gonna use this there's no shine like mothers <laughs> It's usually used for mag wheels, but it says that it's safe for all metals. It shines and protects. Uh, but like I said, I will only try and do it in a small area for now, just to see if it works. This is a softer cloth, by the way, that's designed for shining things. Mm -hmm. Actually, I may not need to use that, but because it's already shiny right there compared to the other side. Hmm. All right, just a little bit, just a little bit, one corner. All right. Wow. <laughs> Look at how that is like, wow. See that? Very shiny now. Okay, that's one side. That we just applied the mothers to shine there. And this is the side that's not as no, we haven't done anything to it yet. That side, this side. Yeah? That side, this side. All right, we'll continue to apply it on the rest and then clean it. Use a different rag to clean it after allowing it to sit for a few seconds. It's kind of tough to clean chains like this because, well, this is the first time I'm cleaning something like this, exactly just like this, and it's difficult, but it's making a difference. So we will continue to just do it. Not bad for it sitting around for a long time. I'm sure there are some of those that will comment in this video and say, well, you're doing it all wrong. But you know what? This is why I'm doing it. I have never cleaned a chain like this before. <laughs> and this is the first time that I'm doing it. And it's working, so I don't know about that. You know what I mean? Yes, it is nice and shiny. Fastest way I could do it is that way.
think I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the whole thing. Let it sit for a few minutes. And then continue to shine it. Because all it is is that we're removing the surface corrosion. The vinegar, baking soda, and the water earlier had taken off majority of it. We will essentially just clean it and make it shine. It looks nice. Doesn't smell good, it smells like cleaner, but it's fine. After enough rubbing, it will probably go away. This is going to look nice in some of the outfit ideas that I have for the summer. Just like when I was 27 years old. Not trying to be young, by the way. For those of you that follow me, you know I am in my late 40s. But the secret is to be youthful. You know, and be happy with what you have. Be confident. That is the key. Okay, let it sit for a few seconds or minutes, maybe even, and then we will shine it. Okay, let's see if we can make it shine. Now we're just removing whatever it is, gunk that's in there, and then rubbing it to make it shine. See, rags like these, you cannot throw away. You can still clean that by washing it. But this is a great tool to have. Shines a lot of things. And it's very gentle. Okay, I am very, I think I am satisfied with that, how it's nice and shiny now. Yeah, lots of gunk, pretty sure if I continue it will get more shiny, but I am satisfied with it. And I'll just keep on cleaning it and wear it. It looks nice. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. That's how I cleaned my old vintage chain. <laughs> chain necklace. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love doing things like this. I love bringing back the classic you know, restoring it or bringing it back to life and using it again. So you'll see me do that often in the next few videos uh, because I went to the thrift store again. Aside from my jeans haul, I also have a couple of items that I bought like t-shirts, old school t-shirts that I'm gonna go and uh, fashion for you. So hang tight. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. For those of you that have been here before, thank you very much for your support. I will talk to you again later.